Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge where we are actually returning to our beautiful Golden Wolf Lily. So many of you guys had amazing combinations for our Laboratory Challenges that you have been suggesting in our most recent challenge videos and I have to say hats off to all of you. You definitely have what it takes in order to be a scientist in my lab and I'm quite impressed. In fact I'm so impressed that I think that pretty soon here we might have to leave off our wild crossbreeds and return to the even wilder and even more chaotic science that we can do with our one or like I think it was about like 99 or 199 cats and dogs that we have actually bred in the random pets genetics challenge where some of you guys actually get added in as random lab assistants i think it's almost time to return to that so what do you guys think would that be quite fun because then we could start creating some of you as the sims to help me you know scoop the poop and feed the animals in the lab in fact we haven't quite got to 100 cats just yet and now that i have the murder cats that we can add into the challenge. Well, basically, my friends, expect good things soon. But today, we are returning to our golden girl, Lily, because so many of you really fell in love with her. And we are actually breeding her with a very special guest. A very, very special guest indeed. <gasps> Glitter the angry bitter biter pack chihuahua and yeah that's kind of a little bit of a swerve away from what we were focusing on but you guys i would like you all to meet glitter from glitter bomb who actually left a really sweet comment in our last video and glitter i am so glad that you left that comment and that your name was picked because now we have glitter the chihuahua and this boy he is determined. He is actually a fierce hunter who is quite vocal. He wants his howls to rival. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> But Glitter wants his howls to rival that of the wolves of Yellowstone, and lucky for him, Glitter was uh, minding his own business, playing in his backyard in a safe little suburb, when a powerful storm came by and swept him up in a small tornado that then swirled him across the land. No doubt he was howling and growling as he went. Oh my gosh, this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Poor Glitter, oh my goodness. And then boom, he landed, thankfully, quite safely in a big fluffy pile of pine needles uh, in the middle of Yellowstone where he has run across Lily. And Lily thought that he was quite the yummy little looking snack. You know, I mean, he's perfectly bite sized, but thankfully he was able to prove his ferocity. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. And impress her with her his howls. And so Glitter is actually going to be part of the Bitter Biter pack. And we are going to crossbreed a wolf and a chihuahua today. So I'm very excited about their story. And I'm very excited about seeing what the combination will be. A ton of you guys would like to see actually uh, Lily and a sheep for golden sheep. Or Lily and a husky for huskies, uh, like wolf huskies, which I think would be quite fun too. But I'll tell you guys one last little story about why we have picked Glitter, the Bitter Biter Pack Chihuahua, for our mix today. And that is because my aunt recently visited with my two little nieces, who those of you who have been around for the last six years of our pixel biology community, well, know I used to be their nanny. That's how we actually got started. I started playing Sims 2 and making Let's Play videos when I would nanny them when I was their live-in nanny in between going to nursing school and living with my aunt. And so the old, old videos, I talk about them all the time. They're visiting. The girls are teenagers now. Oh my gosh. And they have a few adorable toy chihuahuas. Uh, one of which is named Toto. As in like Toto from, you know, the, the whole Dorothy thing with the whole tornado thing. And I realized that was perfect. And we absolutely had to try out mixing a chihuahua with our wolves in honor of my aunt visiting. And in big honor of the fact that thanks to her, her help my friends we were able basically her help being that she hired me to be her nanny and then I was stuck at home at all hours with the kids so I got bored and started playing sims and recording it for YouTube 
<laughs> so this chihuahua represents kind of an honorary, yay, huzzah, to the woman who really helped make it all possible to get our Let's Play channel going and have the community we do today. Uh, simply by virtue of me like having to stay home all the time with the kidlets and uh, having not much to do. So anyway, enough of my rambling as usual. Apologies if I'm more rambly than usual. I'm a little bit sick right now. Let's go ahead and get this whole beautiful story over. We're going to see what kind of lovely pack a chihuahua and a wolf can have. So you two, Lily, I think that you were not only impressed by Glitter's ferocity, but also his golden fur. You are partial to golden fur after all. Let's go ahead and see Lily and Glitter. <gasps> oh, hey, this could go many different ways and be very interesting, but it looks like our lovely Daydream. A little boy named Daydream has been born, given the name by Luna Moon. Luna, I am so glad you have been part of our community for so long, and I'm so excited to see you as an adorable Chihuahua Wolf puppy who, you can't give milk, there we go, who's independent, a sleuth, and playful. Oh, that's an adorable combination. I cannot wait to see what these puppies are going to grow up into. All right, let me go ahead and move things around so I can grab all of your names a little easier. As always, my friends, if you would like to become one of the animals, oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's a cute puppy. <gasps> Holy cow, we're gonna have to try out husky puppies sometime very, very soon. Uh, but if you guys would like to become one of these adorable little dogs, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and it will be shoved into the random comment picker. And then you guys might end up becoming this adorable puppy! Why is the golden fur? Lily is very partial to having golden fur, but I would like to introduce you guys to Rooster. Oh, Rooster, I really hope you end up being vocal. All right, re-roll. Okay. Rooster is jumpy, stubborn, and a troublemaker. I really, you know what? We're gonna dive in. We're gonna replace, no, don't do it. Oh, I hate that one. Oh, we're gonna replace the jumpy with vocal. And that's because, come on, his name's Rooster. That's just so perfect. But thank you, Smooth Beats, for saying such a sweet comment and leaving those lovely emojis. And also, oh, look at those blue eyes. Oh, guys, we're gonna have so much fun. Oh, look at those orange eyes, what? Okay, I didn't expect that, but Lydia, welcome Lydia to our little bitter biter pack. You are also vocal, taking after that chihuahua dad. You are friendly and you are a sleuth. So we're gonna have to see, I'm just, we're getting such a huge variety again, Lily. And I feel like Lily is just kind of gently sighing and being like, I really, really just kind of wanted to uh, have another golden puppy like me to follow in my footsteps. Oh gosh, that's a really dramatically cool looking dog. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. This one is not what I expected and it, I'm really excited to see what you grow up into. Angel. So welcome to Angel from Angel Wolf Dragon LPS. I can kind of see a few things that you're really into in the fandoms there, my friend. And I think a wolf and a zebra actually sounds amazing. We should definitely try that mix in the future. Uh, all right, and you are a hunter who is loyal and jumpy. So this is like, look at this pack so far. I cannot believe this. None of them are the golden wolves. Lily is just gonna keep going until she has a golden wolf puppy who looks like her. She really, really like missed, that's just like her, oh, this is such a cute pup. That's really her goal. <gasps> this one's so cute too and looks like glitter. Oh my gosh, look at the skull. I definitely think this one's gonna grow up into a wolf. But is it going to be a chihuahua sized wolf or is it going to be a wolf sized chihuahua? <laughs> that is indeed the question. Oh my goodness. Also, Siri Rosestone. I think we have a fan of our uh, our certain Star Sable series there. Siri, welcome. Kind of surreal to have someone named Siri, as in the phone Siri. My Siri is S E R I. Uh, but kind of fun to have. Like we have a Siri in this pack. That's awesome! Name buddies, high five! But Siri Rosestone, thank you so much. And I think a shulf or a wulba, a wulba, shulf, 
Those are both very good names for what we could have called our sheep wolves. What do you guys think? Like, what was the, what, what should we call our wolf chihuahuas? This is definitely a little bit more of a challenge. Well, Siri, you are stubborn. You are a couch potato and you are hairy. So welcome to the pack. We're gonna have to go ahead and see what you grew up into in a second. <sighs> and I think Lily's beginning to have second, you know, second thoughts. A little bit of confusion, a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, perhaps not really regret, but frustration, annoyance, a slight sigh. Sure, she loves all of her wolf pups, but where is the gorgeous golden fur that she was blessed with? It's supposed to be passed on in the pack, and this is her second litter in these experiments, and she hasn't seen a single pup with them. All right, Glitter, this is your last chance. Do your best. Oh, Glitter, I think he's proud to have puppies that all look like him. All right, Haley, Haley Moon, thank you very much for your wonderful comments in the previous videos. You are a sleuth who is an aggressive hunter. Definitely going to help your chihuahua father survive the wild with that combination. And I think a black wolf and a jaguar sound like an amazing mix. We're gonna have to do some of those mixes in the future for sure. Holy cow, you guys have great suggestions. But all right, Lily, being a little bit more of an egotistical wolf, is giving a bit of a sigh that none of the puppies look like her. But I think that Glitter Bitter Biter Pack is very proud to begin his little pack. So let's go ahead and see what happens when you combine a wolf and a chihuahua. Daydream, grow up, my friend. Oh, how'd you end up with a cow tail? Okay, someone slipped a cow tail into the genetic mix-up, which was not supposed to happen. <laughs> but look at this guy! Daydream! I think you're gonna be able to protect your dad, that's for sure. And he actually ended up with his dad's face, I think. Yeah, kind of his dad's face, his mom's eyes. He looks like a Doberman. Do you get a Doberman? Well, he looks like a really skinny Doberman with gigantic feet. Do you end up getting a Doberman if you combined a wolf and a Chihuahua? We will have to see. All right, Rooster, your turn to grow up, my little friend. Your big brother is quite big. Maybe your pack will not just be little ankle biters. Oh, it's ankle, oh my gosh. Rooster, are you okay? Rooster, you look kind of like that dog alien thing from Men in Black. Like, quite seriously, you do. Rooster dude, um, um, kind of like a mix between Gollum and Dobby the house elf? How did we end up having a mix between Gollum and Dobby the house elf? You know, before I began recording this, I told Chips what I was up to, and he side-eyed me and said, has science gone too far? And I, 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 I maybe? Maybe? Strangerville music is even playing, so I feel a little bad now. Maybe we have really gone too far. Lydia? Oh, Lydia. <gasps> Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. I had no... Look at her. Okay. Lydia has redeemed us. I, I have to admit, Rooster? Rooster, wow. Lydia? Wow. For a different reason. Don't you love this, guys? You just never know where you're going to end up with in these packs. Look at the huge diversity just between these three siblings already. Lydia is just drop dead gorgeous, too. And Angel, what about you, my friend? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Angel? You're the one that no one in the forest is going to want to mess with. You are gonna be able to protect your siblings no matter what for sure. Look at her. Wow, I've never seen a dog quite with these features, this combination, this fur coloring, and our challenges before, so I am quite pleased with this. I love her! She really looks like she is just going to be able to be like a tank of a fighter. This is amazing. A little Siri, let's go ahead and see what you grew up into. I've got my thoughtful face on. Somehow there's a cow tail in there again. Yeah, I still got my thoughtful face on. Huh. Well, my namesake, go forth and, and prosper. <laughs> Haley? <gasps> Haley, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. 
she's a tiny, like, chihuahua-sized wolf, basically, and has once again decided to look remarkably like a sheep. That's amazing. Maybe there is just some sheep genetics buried deep inside of Lily's lineage. But you guys, there we go. From Lily and the Bitter Biter Pack leader, Glitter. He is fierce, he is ferocious, he has survived tornadoes, and he will survive your sass. He, we now have Daydream, who looks very much like a Doberman. Rooster, Rooster, I think you're, I, I mean this with love, but I think you are up there, my friend, on some of the most um, interesting of any of the wolf pups, or any of the anythings we've ever made in these challenges. Lydia, who just is stunning and so sweeping me away with her beauty. Angel, who is ready to defend her family at all costs uh, and also looks like a Rottweiler. Uh, we've got Siri, who really doesn't know what she wants to be. And we have Haley, who is an adorable, like, chihuahua-sized wolf who is also part sheep somehow. That was awesome. I did not expect that huge range of diversity from those two parents. Not any of the puppies look the same, which is really quite stunning. I actually really love that. We should definitely do some of these more extreme genetic crossovers in the future, because this is just fantastic. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to all of our hungry chewwolfs? Chewwolfs? What should we call these guys? I love the challenge of coming up with the names for them. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.